Hello, I am Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com. Today I will show you how to create this. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and now it is actually really simple to work with text inside of Premiere Pro so you don't have that title designer anymore. If you don't know how the new update is, I have another video on that so uh, go and check that one out first. I will put a card on this video. So here I am in my editing mode and the first thing that you need to do is open up the essential graphics right here and try to dock it somewhere around here so I'll position this right here and make sure that you have the effects controls next to it so it's easier to go and animate stuff if you need to so apart from that we can just get started right here I have my audio file what I want to do is actually play my audio file and listen to where I actually hear a new word and then I'm going to press M on the keyboard and that's going to leave a marker on my audio file and then I know uh, where to actually add a new word later in the edit. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, I'm going to play this back and then I'll press M on each new word. Okay, so I've done all my markers. As you can see it right here, we have um, a few words to uh, get started on. So I will go to my text tool and just click in my window here with the text tool. So my first word is hello. And you can just design it as you wish. I'm going to use the font later for this one. Um, maybe click on your selection tool, click on your text and change this to um, medium. Or actually semi bold is okay. And then I will click right here to center. So align and transform right here. Zoom in here on my timeline so we can actually go and really dive into uh, all these settings. Click on your text. You can really uh, yeah go through all of this. I think I want to keep it clean, so I'm going to just keep it as it is. Maybe a touch smaller to make it look a little bit more cinematic. So uh, right here. I'm going to scale it to 80. And again, center it out by clicking on your text right here and just center it like here. So right here we'll do all the animation. So this is actually basically the same thing right here. We just have a few more options to uh, design the title. So we have our first word and I'm going to drag this to this first marker right here. Then I'm going to make it longer just when the new word starts and then I will click right here. Click on the text tool again. new word and I'm going to center out this one as well. I'm actually going to make my font size actually a little bit smaller. And then again right here, text tool, click over here. And right here we want to do something different. So we have our text right here and I actually want to move it a little bit more to the left and then I will create a new layer here for a new text and I'm going to enter Alea, which is my last name. Also make this 80% large and also center this out. And now I'm going to move this a little bit more to the right. So this to the right and this one a little bit more to the left. So it looks like it's actually next together. And then what I want to do is actually animate this one in later. So what I'll do is click on my last one right here and we can actually animate or transform. I'm going to set the opacity and the transform to zero right here and move towards when I say Alea. Click on this diamond here in the effects controls to make a new keyframe for the zero opacity. Move one frame doing that with the arrow to the right and set this to 100. Make it longer until we have the new word from. I'm going to enter a new text again. And for tolerated cinematics, I want to do the same thing, but a little bit longer. So we'll create a new text again right here. Tolerated. C. 
cinematics. New text dot. And then one more text com. So really building things up like so. And then you want to center all of these out. And now you'll have to eyeball it a little bit by just dragging this to the left. Uh, this a little bit more to the right until it actually looks centered. And now you want to do the same thing, so tolerate it. Tolerate it. And that's right here. And then here I say cinematics, I guess. Cinematics, yeah. cinematics, okay. Click on the cinematics title right here. Go into the transform for that one, so uh, cinematics. Click transform. Click on the uh, cl click on the stopwatch for the opacity right here at the new moment. Uh, click right here. Go back one frame. Set this to zero percent. So now it's actually toggling on right here. Right here, I say dot com. So uh, right here, click on the dot, and we have it right here. Transform. Click on the stopwatch for the opacity one frame backwards zero. Then we have the new today. Create a new text and we'll change this to 80 again, center it out, and now we have the easy part again. I will and just trim it down for each word like so. And there we go. So let's play it back. I will actually make this a little bit longer here for the I will. I will show you. And I want to move my eye to the left and my will to the right. Show you. I will show you. I'm actually going to keep all of these together. So what you can do to solve here is just drag them above uh, in new layers, make these as long as you want them to be and make these as long as you need them to be. So I will show you, I will drag this again to the left a little bit more. Like let's say this is going to be our final position that this text should be and actually it should be a little bit more to the right. Okay, so what I will do is select all of these layers, like so. Right here at the beginning of U. And click on this one, go to the transform, open it up. And click on the stopwatch for the position. Same for all of these. And there we go. So make sure that you do this in, at the beginning of you. And what we want to do then is actually go one frame backwards, click on the show, and then we'll drag down to the position right here. And now we're going to move this to the right so it actually looks centered with this kind of sentence. Like so. Go to the beginning of show and click on the diamonds here. Make it a little bit longer if you can click it for all of these here. Move one frame backwards and we're going to animate it once more. There we 
go. Go to the beginning of Will, click here, and create a new keyframe. Move one frame forward and backwards, and then we'll move this eye in the center, or we can just uh, align it, but 940 should be the center. Okay, so let's preview this. And actually my eye starts already here, so that's my mistake here. I will, so I'm going to move everything over. And just make it as long as you need it to be, okay. So that's basically how to create Connect typography in Adobe Premiere Pro. I know this was really basic, uh, but as you can see, it's also really simple to create. You just have to know how to do it. So take your time, make something really cool. And if you want to, share your video in the comments below. So if you like this video, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more, and then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.